What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Themes and in today's video you're gonna learn how to display, how to show, how to add a welcome message as a pop-up that appears for your site visitors, maybe to share about some promotion, some new servers, some updates. A welcome message, it's a quite necessary for a lot of websites in the case that you are running a promotion, have some products, new services and want to boost the engagement because you can embed a contact form, embed a product, embed some link to a landing page, anything that you want, okay? So how to do this when the person first loads your site? Let's learn how to do this into this video, but before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many, many more topics not use internet on our site's favor. So let's get this started. I'm gonna move to my WordPress dashboard, okay? And review the left sidebar of menus. Scroll it down and hover my mouse over the plugins field. Click on add new. After this, review the upper right corner of your screen next to keyword you have search plugins text. Click on it and just type Pop-up Maker. This is one of my favorite plugins and one of the best plugins on WordPress. Click on install. After this, click on the activate button no need to worry, the plugin is gonna automatically redirect you to the plugins list or to the welcome message, okay? Where you can start making your pop-ups. But as soon as you activate the plugin, you're gonna be able to see a new link to your WordPress left sidebar of menus called Pop-up Maker, okay? And right here we have a couple of pop-ups that you can do, okay? For example, we can click on Create New. Let me just no, not allow this. Let me click on create new and we have a pop-up name and a pop-up title. And we can type pop-up name as welcome. The pop-up title can be anything that you want, for example, welcoming your first site visitors. And we can enter any text or code that you want to display into this pop-up right here. We can change the code style. We can change the text, we can apply some links, we can enter with short codes in the case that we want, for example, maybe something like a link to our landing page, a contact form short code, a page builder short code, a WooCommerce product short code, anything that we want can be placed right here. And then let's review the most important part, triggers. Triggers cause pop-up to open. Click on add new. We can have a click, open, a time delay or a form submission. We want to a time delay, prevent pop-up from showing to visitors again using cookies. This is very useful because if the user already see the pop-up once, it will not be able to see the pop-up once again. So in the case that you want to prevent users to review the pop-up, you must mark this option. I'm gonna just remove this for the video purpose and click on add. After this, we're gonna show how many time we're gonna wait to make the pop-up work. Can be, for example, one second. And the cookies Nazi, we can enter if a cookies Nazi in the case that we want. Click on add new, then click on publish. Let me just go to my all pop-ups and delete this previously made one moving it to trash, done. And right here you can see, you can switch from other pop-ups in the case that you prefer, you can set on or off into this switcher, but let's reveal the website so we can check our pop-up. And here is the text. We can click on close to remove the pop-up and change the text is right here. Let me load the welcome pop-up. Let me change the display of the pop-up. We have some options right here in the case that you prefer. We have, for example, the right button sighting. It's very, very much used for a lot of sites. Okay, it's one of my favorites, by the way, but it's up to you. Normally it goes to the middle and we can change the closer button and into the advanced field, you can disable accessibility features. But let's go back to this option right here into display and move to appearance. We have the default theme, light theme, enterprise theme, hello box, cutting edge. Let's move to hello box. 
click into the update button and let's test our pop-up once again. And here we go. Really, really nice, right? And as you can see, we can keep customizing our pop-ups entering with any information style that you would like to have on your pop-up, okay? So it is, do your change. I can keep doing change right here. We can choose other options, for example, into the targeting. Choose a condition to target your pop-up to a specific content, various other segments. For example, I only want that the pop-up appears if a person access my site homepage. So I'm gonna select it right here. We can disable the pop-up on mobile devices or on tablet devices if you prefer as well. Non recommended, but it's up to you, it's your site. Click on update and you have this setup as well. Once again, we can keep customizing, changing the button, the form submission, the alternative methods, okay? We have lots of options to play with, to display with. This is why this plugin is one of my favorites and it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Boris WordPress plugin to gain more widgets, elements, templates and tools to customize your site using Elementor or Gutenberg. Our free WordPress theme, the Enzu, that is the best free WordPress theme to customize our site in the way that you want. Our growth with 3w's.net platform in order to submit your site for receiving guest posts and publishing guest posts, all for free. And as a final note, in the case that you want to go premium and save your time while doing your WordPress website, go to visualmodo.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass, and unlock access to our full template library of pre-built websites for every business style or support, premium icons, packs, design assets, templates, and many, many more features all in one place. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best.